Welcome to The Healthy Home, the show dedicated to helping you create a safer, cleaner, and more breathable living space. I'm your host, and today we're diving deep into a topic that causes a lot of confusion, the battle of the air cleaners. Imagine your home. It looks clean, you've dusted, you've vacuumed, but what if I told you that the real threats are invisible? We're talking about a microscopic world teeming with dust mites, pet dander, pollen, mold spores, airborne bacteria, viruses, and even chemical gases called VOCs seeping out of your furniture and paint. Now, to fight this siege, you've probably heard of two main contenders, the air purifier and the air scrubber. They sound similar, right? Both promise cleaner air, but in reality, they are as nightlight and a searchlight. Today, I am going to demystify these devices once and for all. Let's clear the air. The fundamental difference, passive versus active cleaning. Think of an air purifier as a meticulous gatekeeper. Its job is to sit in a room and draw the surrounding air into itself. It doesn't go out and seek pollutants, it waits for them to come to it. The air is pulled through a series of filters, which act like a sophisticated net, trapping particles before the cleaned air is circulated back into the room. It's a closed loop system. The only air it can clean is the air that physically passes through its filters. If a dust particle is sitting on your bookshelf across the room, the purifier won't do anything about it until that particle happens to become airborne and get sucked in. It's effective, but it's localized and passive. Now let's look at the air scrubber. The scrubber is a proactive hunter. Instead of just waiting for contaminants, it sends out an army of charged molecules to actively seek and destroy pollutants throughout the entire space. This is a game changer. These scrubbing molecules, often negative ions or oxidizing agents like hydrogen peroxide vapor, travel through the air, neutralizing airborne threats on contact. But here's the most significant part. Because these molecules settle everywhere, they also clean surfaces. That's right, an air scrubber can sanitize your countertops, doorknobs, tables, and floors without you ever lifting a finger. It attacks pollutants where they land and fester. So while the purifier is guarding the gate, the scrubber is patrolling the entire property, neutralizing threats in the air and on the ground. This active surface level cleaning is what fundamentally separates it from a standard air purifier. Technology and pollutants. Inside a typical air purifier, you'll usually find a multi-stage filtration system. The star of the show is the HEPA filter, which stands for high efficiency particulate air. This is a medical grade filter standardized to capture 99.97% of particles as small as 0.3 microns. To put that in perspective, a human hair is about 50 to 70 microns wide. So a HEPA filter is incredibly effective at trapping the common culprits of poor indoor air, dust, pollen, pet dander, and smoke particles. Many purifiers also include an activated carbon filter. This isn't for particles, it's for gases. Activated carbon has millions of tiny pores that absorb odors, chemical fumes, and volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. If you're concerned about cooking smells or that new furniture chemical smell, the carbon filter is your best friend. Some high-end purifiers even add a UVC light lamp as a final stage. As air passes by the light, the ultraviolet radiation can kill or neutralize airborne bacteria and viruses. But remember, the effectiveness of UV light depends on the pathogen's exposure time, which can be very short inside a purifier. Now let's open up the air scrubber. Many industrial grade portable scrubbers also use HEPA and carbon filters, just like purifiers. This is why they are so effective in remediation projects. They can physically trap huge amounts of debris, like drywall dust will mold spores. However, the technology that defines a scrubber, especially installed in HVAC systems, goes far beyond simple filtration. May employ ionization, releasing a stream of negative ions. These ions attach to positively charged pollutants like dust and allergens, making them too heavy to stay airborne. 
they clump together and fall into surfaces, where they can be wiped away or neutralized by the scrubber's other main weapon, active oxidation. Use cases and environment. Air purifiers are the perfect solution for residential and small commercial settings. They are designed for everyday life. If you or a family member suffers from allergies, asthma, or general sensitivity to dust, a HEPA purifier in the bedroom or living room can be life-changing. They excel at maintaining a baseline of clean air in a defined space, typically a single room ranging from 100 to 500 square feet. They are relatively quiet, with many models having a sleep mode that's barely audible, making them ideal for constant use. They are also portable, so you can easily move one from your home office during the day to your bedroom at night. Air scrubbers, on the other hand, are built for heavy-duty work and challenging environments. Think of industrial or commercial applications. Construction sites kicking up silica dust, workshops with chemical fumes, or hospitals needing sterile environments. They are also the go-to device for disaster restoration and remediation. If you have a major problem like a mold outbreak, fire or smoke damage, or are undergoing a major home renovation, a portable air scrubber is essential. These units are powerful, designed to clean large areas, often 1,000 square feet or more, and are built to withstand tough conditions. Cost. There's a significant price difference. You can get a very good room air purifier for a few hundred dollars. The initial investment is relatively low. An air scrubber, being a more powerful and complex piece of machinery, has a much higher upfront cost, often running into the thousands of dollars, especially for whole home HVAC units. Portable industrial units can also be rented for specific projects, which is a common practice in the restoration industry. energy consumption, and noise. An air purifier is designed for continuous, quiet operation. It uses a small fan and consumes minimal electricity, comparable to a standard household fan. Its noise level is low, often between 30 and 40 decibels on a low setting, which is about the level of a whisper. An air scrubber is a different beast entirely. It uses powerful motors to move huge volumes of air and run its advanced technologies. This means significantly higher energy consumption and a lot more noise. A portable scrubber can easily reach 90 decibels, which is as loud as a lawnmower. This is why they are more suitable for industrial sites or unoccupied areas under remediation, not for your living room while you're watching a movie. Maintenance. Both devices require maintenance, but the complexity differs. For an air purifier, it's straightforward. You need to replace the filters. The HEPA and carbon filters typically need to be replaced every 6 to 12 months, depending on usage and air quality. It's a simple, user-friendly process. For an air scrubber, maintenance is more involved. Yes, if it has filters, they need changing, but you may also need to periodically clean the ionization unit or, for PCO models, replace the UV bulb and the catalyst cell, which can be more expensive and complex. So which works better? So there you have it, the air purifier, a passive room-based filter perfect for everyday allergen and dust control. It's your quiet, affordable guardian. The Air Scrubber, an active whole space sanitizer that cleans both air and surfaces. It's your powerful, heavy-duty enforcer for serious contamination problems or ultimate whole home purity. One traps contaminants, the other hunts them down. One cleans a room, the other sanitizes a property. One is for daily comfort, the other is for deep cleaning and remediation. By understanding these core differences in technology, application, and practicality, you can now confidently choose the right tool for your needs. Ensuring the air you and your family breathe is not just clear, but truly clean. Thanks for tuning in to The Healthy Home. Join us next time as we explore 